All right. When you open PowerDirector, uh, pay no attention to the little orange dot. That is just my screen recorder. That's not part of the PowerDirector app. <laughs> so I'll give you a quick run through. If you open PowerDirector, you can create a new project. I'm going to go into Texas Part 4, which I'm working on. And here's what that looks like. I'll move my dot down over there. Just ignore that. Uh, so in this case, I started with a black photo because I like to have the screen fade in. Um, over here, this orange one here, you can see um, in the video in the background, you see my mom taking a picture of the girls while they're on the top of the uh, lighthouse. And so I decided to add in that photo. So you see the photo she took while I'm panning around the lighthouse with my drone. So that's kind of cool. Uh, you got an audio file down here. It's music. So you can put in music. If you want to do voiceover uh, on the top left here, you go into music. And then on the top right, you see the microphone. Now it's going to ask when you press record, do you want to record on the first audio track or the second? Well, you don't want to record on the first because that's where your song is. So you want to record on the second. So you got to be careful not to select the wrong track. Uh, the nice thing about PowerDirector is that if you make a mistake, there is an undo or a back button. So I'm going to record the second audio track. So I'm going to hit OK. And then it gives you options. Do you want to save it? Do you want to discard it? Do you want to play it to see if you like it? Do you want to retake it? I'm going to discard it because I don't want it in there, of course. So those are your options. So what I was saying is that let's say, let's say this moment right here where the drone shot pops up, I want to time it with the music. You can see in the music where that moment is. You, and also you can even zoom in. You can make your timeline bigger. So you can see right there, there's a little bump in the music that coincides with this drone shot coming on. If I line that up, uh, it may or may not line up, so I may have to listen to the whole thing from the beginning in order to um, get that lined up. <laughs> That's just kind of a quick run through. Uh, up here on the left, if you want to add a layer, let's say you want to add B-roll. So let's say in the middle of this drone shot, I want a video or something else. I'm going to use this layer function and I'm going to select video and I'm going to go to Texas and I'm going to put this koi fish in that spot. And I can move it and adjust it, size it, trim it, whatever. So now, you still hear the audio. There's no audio on a drone sh on a drone track, but if there was, you you s would still hear the audio in the background. But then you would start seeing this video. So if you've got a video, let's say you're filming yourself with the camera in your face and you're talking, and you're talking about, ah, oh, yeah, dude, it was such an awesome bike today until that moment I wiped out. You can keep that audio track going, but then. Put the B-roll over the top of the actual wipeout. So it's kind of cool. You, you can be your own narrator. Uh, but yeah, so you got a lot of options. I'm not going to make this too big. We're already at four minutes. So I will cancel that. But we can go over some more stuff tomorrow. Just giving you a little idea of what sort of options you have. You got video, photo, music, sound effects. Uh, I never use the in-app sound effects. I always use epidemic sound. And then, of course, you got your layers. That's where I select text. If I want to put in some sort of text, um, you know, you got options like that. And then you can make it big and move it around and do whatever you want. You can make it fade in and fade out, whatever. So that's about it. Chat more tomorrow. See ya.